What's up, people of the internet? My name is Nathan, and today we are going to be playing Surviving Mars. Last time I had no clue how this game worked, so we're playing the tutorial this time, and we'll go back and we'll mess around with it. We're, this episode's just going to be tutorials, I think. Unless they're really short, who knows, we'll see. But, the basics. We're just going to do the tutorials, because I don't want to fail and die really late and be like, What did I fail? And Welcome like, to Mars. I hate my life. All right, welcome to Mars. In this training exercise, you will learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct a small base, and how to refuel the rocket in order to send it back to Earth. Let's get started. Um, Hints okay. such as this one will appear throughout the training right. process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current tasks. You need to master the camera controls and familiarize yourself with the terrain around the prospective colony site. Okay. Yeah. The zoom in and WASD and hold middle click or alt to move the mouse, which is kind of weird, but that's fine, and M is to zoom out. Perfect. Perfect. What the... Now it's time to land the rocket. first rocket. Please... Proceed by selecting the pinned icon representing the rocket in the current in orbit around Mars. Land the rocket on Mars. With the rocket selected, designate a landing site on the indicated location. Okay. One small step for man, one small step leap for mankind. With the rocket landed, um, right to position, right click to land. Okay, it's landing. Okay, brief intermission, I want to do something. Options, controls. Uh, okay, I can't change any controls. I was going to change and um, we have the touched button. Down. The rocket has landed on Mars. Okay, it carries drones, remotely controlled robots with constitute your construction and resource gathering work frame. Gather basic resources for building construction is one of the first things our Martian base needs. Place a metal depot, depot so the drones begin automatically bringing metal from the scattered surface deposits nearby. Okay, so... Let's see, it's here. Deposit, we'll put that here. HUD speed scale, yup. Okay. Okay. Here we go, little robot. Do we have the stuff? Good little robot. Our doing your stuff. carries valuable resources that will be essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Okay. Initially, it's best to designate a universal depot so the drones have a place to store them. A universal depot. What does this do? It starts 30 units of each transportable resource. Oh, we have to put it near the rocket. Along with metals, concrete is the other vital basic construction resource. The concrete extractor building must be placed over or within proximity of the a concrete deposit. Then the building menu placed on the concrete thing. Okay. We did this in uh, a previous episode. How do I rotate? Well okay. done. Now observe how the drones will carry all the resources to the site, and yep. then construct the concrete extractor. Yeah. As assumed. Uh, remember, the construction will finish more quickly when with on the faster game speed. Oh, that's cool. Good robot. Like most buildings, the concrete extractor oh, needs yeah, need power, power in order to <laughs> operate. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply is essential for the success of the colony. Okay. Okay. Sterling generators are exergent power sources, but they are too complex to be built on Mars during the early stages of our colonizing efforts. That is why we ship them from Earth. Parsh? I don't know. Prefabs do not require any resource, only drones to unpack and assemble them. We've provided you with a Sterling generator prefab. Construct the Sterling generator and attach cables. Okay. 
where would I find this prefab? Well, we just have it. I'm gonna put it over here so we're kind of close to other things. The time can't go fast enough. Connect the Sterling generator and the concrete extractor using a power cable from the build menu to power up the extractor. Yeah. Is that not what this said? What's the need to a power consumer? Resources are low. Oh, he's they're building it. My stupid self didn't realize Waste that. Waste rock is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations. This way you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction. The amount of waste rock per resource extracted depends on the grade of the resource deposit. You can select a resource deposit to view its grade and the amount of resource remaining in it. Place a dumping pile in the country to store extra concrete. Okay, we're gonna put this over here. Dumping site. We're gonna put the dumping site over here. Drones will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Currently, all drones are assigned to the rocket. When the rocket is selected, the work range of all drone assigns to it will be visualized. If the rocket takes off, however, all the drones will need another controller. Build a drone hub. Make sure it's supplied with power. Okay, we need a drone hub. Let's see. We'll put the drone hub over here. So if I click on the rocket, this is their perimeters, I think. I don't know. Oh no, this is the perimeter. They work within this perimeter. Okay, I get that, I get that. And then power cables. We'll need power cables. Where are they under? Power cable. And we'll just hook it up, I guess. And then we'll right click. Okay. We're trying to mess with controls here. And it's not easy. These controls Drones are run on batteries that have to be recharged periodically. Every drone hub has two recharge stations built in, but you might need additional ones as the colony spreads out. Construction, research stations, especially a long area with heavy domes, will probably maintenance. Okay. Put a thing near a thingy. Okay. Recharge station. More recharge. More power! Let's go! Maintaining a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential, especially during the early colonization stages. Okay. Every rocket has enough fuel for a one-way trip to Mars and has to be refueled on site so it can return to Earth and be reused. Fuel is produced in a fuel refinery. To set up the production chain, we will also need water. Build a muscle vapor and then a fuel refinery. Okay. A moisture vapor, we're gonna rotate it just like here so you can hook it up to the power quite simply. And then we'll also need a fuel refinery. We're gonna build this close by the rocket so no problems can be had. Okay. Both of these things need power, but we can hook that up quite simply by Jen here. Opening the build menu. Right click or B, yeah. But I like opening it like this. And then we need another power cable to hook this to this. It has power now. And once this is built, we still have power. How much power does this produce? We don't have sufficient power for all the buildings in the colony. If we don't have sufficient power for all the buildings in the colony, luckily we have an extra sterling generating prairie fab we can use. Well, the new sterling and general are along the power network. Could I just plop it down? Along the network, along the network. What if I just put it here? A system of pipes is used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. It has been connected with pipes to the fuel refinery. Go here, go here. Zoom in, man. How do I not zoom in? There we go. Okay. 
pipe to fuel refinery. We need pipes, pipes, pipes. This tells you it's connected. Okay, connected to building. There we go. So wait, is this already... Oh, okay, so it's... Oh, no. Cancel, 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 and... Fuel delay. production is now underway, and the drones will begin to deliver the fuel to the rocket. Use the speed control to increase the game speed to feel the thing much faster. Okay. Okay, I understand it now. Where's the fuel refinery? This is a fuel refinery, okay. And that needs water to make fuel? I don't get it, but okay. Drone status refueling 105. Perfection assault. Predicted stored fuel one of a hundred. 1.5. I can click this and click salvage. We don't need that many pipes. Not now, anyway. Fuel production is underway. How much are in the rocket right now? Four or five. Okay. <coughs> What's this? Radio. Launch to send the rocket up. Oh, this is the launch button. Oh, no. This is the launch button. Return to Earth. To space! You can see it. Look, it's going! Bye, rocket! And it's going. Congratulations. You have finished the first tutorial. Okay. You found to set up a basic outpost on Mars. That's great, no. So, how long are we into this video already? We're about 12 minutes. So we did one of the five tutorials. Um, since we're gonna need to know how this game works, we're gonna do one more, and if there's time, maybe an extra one, and then do these two next episode. We're just learning the basics here. We're not really doing anything crazy. Welcome, Commander. With it. In this rovers. training exercise, you will get acquainted with one of your most valuable tools, rovers. Rovers are vehicles with a bear variety of use functions like transporting resources, commanding drones, and analyzing anomalies. You have direct control over all rovers in the colony. Select the RC transport and move it to the desired area. Now let's try moving around. Click and what? Oh, right click. Okay. Speed it up. The RC transport can load and carry resources around the map. Let's use it to refuel the nearby rocket. Okay, then I load it close to the rocket so that its drones can load it onto the rocket. Drones also take resources directly from the RC transport if they need them. However, unloading the resources is quicker and will free up the RC transport for other tasks. Okay. Load resource. Okay, so that's quite simple to figure out. Okay, it's loading all the fuel. Now order the RC transport to unload the fuel next to the rocket. Unload resource here. Okay, so this is unload more. Okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, so that's just working its day out. 68 fuel. 66. Okay, so it goes down. That takes a long time. Wait for the drones to bring the fuel inside the rocket, then select the rocket to, rocket to launch it. Okay, launch the rocket, go back to Earth. Drones no control. Okay, there's no control with these drones. Yeah, skirt, skirt! Some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. 
Resigned command also resign drones to a Assign their drones to a nearby drone hub. Right, left click and hold to drag the select for drone. Once you selected, resign action. Wait. Left click and hold. Press and hold, left click. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. Resign. Assign. Reassign, not resign. The RC transport okay. is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits without the help of drones. Okay. So this boy can go here and gather it. Skirt! Come on, get some metal, bro. Just slurp it up. Slurp it up big time. Wow, that's what a, that's what a big slurp is. Let's set up a small expand some distance away from the main base. Our RC transfer can be ordered to transport a large amount of resources in multiple goes via the transport route command. Set a transport route between the universal stations in the base and mark location on the map. Create transport route. Okay, select the rover and use create transport route. With this command activated, left click the universal deposit as the starting point of the route. From the pop-up menu, choose load all resources. Wait. Wait. As a starting point of the route. Oh, okay. <coughs> All. Oh, okay, so that's the first one. Um, near the marked area above the main base at the point route. Okay, it's up here, somewhere. Okay, up here, they want it to be here. Nice work. Now observe how the RC makes its first course along. If things take too long, remember to speed up time. So it takes all out of the starting one. Wait, what the? Oh no, this is just the route of which it needs to take stuff from. Okay. So it does it without me. Interesting, interesting. Commander, one other thing. The RC commander is a noble drone controller that carries its own drones. With it, help you can gather resources from, su from surface deposits construct and maintain buildings while moving for distances the RC commander will first recall the drones before moving off to the destination where's the RC drone select the RC drone and move it close to the desired area okay, okay. it's coming yeah it is okay cool what's this recall drones pack drones for reassignment we need to construct a new sensor tower to scan the nearby environment. New expand. Okay. Sensor tower. Okay, let's go. And it's starting later to make sure it's connected. Good job. The construction may take some time until the RC transports deliver all the needed resource for the sensor tower and sterling generator and some cables to plug them in. Okay, cable done. in here. Wait, metal and electronics. We need electronics. 
electronics. Okay, so good to know that I have to do it by myself if I want it to work. And we need also polymers, 10 of it. Is this max? Um, let's build down a depot so we can hold more stuff. One sec. Job. Must be power. Yeah, well. This game hates me, man. This game hates me a ton. Can't believe this game hates me so much. We have six polymer out of the ten. Here comes a little robot. And then once I take the sixth polymer off, we'll go back and get the last bits we need. Ha! <sighs> what a game, what a game. Polymers, let's go. Pinned. Follow camera. Oh, that's cool. It's time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. You can scan new sectors to discover more resource deposits and anomalies. This is done by the map overview. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. There are two main ways to scan. One is to queue sectors for scanning. These sections will be scanned one by one gradually over time. Sensor towers speed up the scanning process of sectors near them. The other way is to use probes, which you can buy using funding and bring on research rockets from Earth. Orbital probes. You can also queue sectors for scanning. Left click on a sector to add to the scanning queue. You can add up to 10 sectors for scanning. Oh, wait, what? Scan sector E4. Wait. Um. Well done. Oh, okay. Now it's time to use anomalies. our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Uh, move interact action in order to analyze the anomaly. Anomaly found. Good job. Wait for it to analyze. <laughs> to analyze the anomaly. It's scanning, one second. Scanning is important. The anomaly has yielded interesting insights into new technologies. Okay. Research new technologies and unlocking new options for the colonies, such as new buildings, domes, and upgrades. This is the research screen. From here, you can choose and queue text for research. Texts are divided into five basic fields, and a field for specific breakthrough text. When you research a tech from a given basic field, you will unlock the new text tech in that field. Breakthrough texts are simple, unique texts that are unlocked with 
via anomalies. Breakthroughs. Okay. Commander, one other thing. Each tech has a cost of research points, which are generated in various ways. Your sponsor provides some research points to start off with. One colonist, once colonists arrives, you will be able to construct research labs, which generate research points faster. You can view a breakdown, wait, a breakdown of the research points generated per soul on the right side of the research screen. Close the research screen to finish the Nice tutorial. work. Now you know how to handle rovers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We did a bunch of tutorials. We're gonna be learning more. Uh, next time, I think we still need to learn all this stuff. It's very important. There's probably going to be an extra video on this, so the next video will be longer. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I post every single day. And remember, this has been We're Surviving on Mars. Peace, peace, peace.